Welcome! This is the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel where we focus on helping people overcome low vision challenges. Hi there, my name is Mike Tettleton and this video is part of the Impaired Vision Persons Cook series. In this series we take a close look at, well not a close look, we, we try to take a broad look at all the different techniques methods and kitchen appliances that make it possible for someone with impaired vision to feel comfortable in the kitchen, whether it's cooking, defrosting, or reheating their own meals or their cups of coffee. Yeah, you probably already guessed, this video we're going to talk about the microwave oven, but not just any microwave oven. We're going to talk about how to set up, use, and take full advantage of the capabilities that a talking microwave oven provides folks with impaired vision and their families. Anyone can use the talking microwave, whether they're dark blind, legally blind, low vision issues, or normally sighted, it works equally well for all. We just need to learn how to set it up, how to use it, and take full advantage of its capabilities. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, or you know somebody that would be, please share, leave a comment, and let's get straight into it. This is going to be fun. Welcome back to the channel. Let's get straight into setting up using the Magic Chef Talking Microwave. Now, I apologize for the nicks, the dings, and the scratches, and the wear marks on my version of the talking microwave, but keep in mind, this thing is several years old, and there's no telling how many bags of microwave popcorn this has popped, how many uh, leftovers it's reheated, and how many delicious frozen foods it has dethawed in its life. But... One of the first things that you will notice when taking a look at the Magic Chef talking microwave is the control panel. Now on a lot of current modern up-to-date microwave ovens there are a whole lot of small little buttons that many of them are preset to pop popcorn or reheat a cup of coffee or defrost this defrost that you know what have you the uh, talking microwave does not have those preset buttons if you look at the control panel you will notice that there are a line of three buttons from left to right and then four lines of buttons from top to bottom now, as most English-speaking folks read from left to right and top to bottom, this kind of makes sense. Instead of just pushing a button and it hit start and it go, you have to first set your cook time, and of course, you need to set the uh, power level. And on this microwave, the talking microwave from Magic Chef, it'll do you know, high, medium, low, and defrost. And it's, it's easy to change from one to the other. And uh, it can sometimes be a little bit confusing, but if you'll just be patient and hear what it says, listen and hear the instructions that it provides you and follow those instructions, all will be good in the talking microwave world, so to speak. So having said that, the top left hand button is where you'll start doing any cooking, reheating, or defrosting that you plan to do with the Magic Chef talking microwave. And basically that button is if I just push it and let go of it, cook time not set. it is going to say that the cook time is not set. Okay, well, there's no time set on the timer. So to start setting the time you push and hold the same button until you hear it say set cook time cook time not set set cook time minutes now once you hear it tell you set cook time minutes if you'll go all the way to the far right hand side the right hand button on the top line 
is where you'll set your cook time. Now, if you just push that one time, it will advance one minute at a time. It'll go one minute, two minute, three minute, etc. One minute, two minutes, three minutes. Now, if you will push and hold that button, it will say five minute increments. It'll go from three minutes to five minutes to 10 minutes to 15, 20, 25, and so on. Four, five, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes. Okay, right now it's set at 25 minutes. Now, if you need to, to do 25 minutes and 30 seconds, let's say, that's when you push and release the middle button on the top row. So that is actually the second button from the left on the top row. Set cook time seconds. Tells you to set cook time seconds. From there, you go back to the top right hand button. One second. Again, you push it one click at a time. It'll go one second, two second, and so on. If you push and hold, it will go in five second increments. Two, five, ten, fifteen seconds. Now that is important for those of us that like to uh, dial in a specific cooking time for each little item that we do a lot of. For us, we do a lot of microwave popcorn. And we have discovered that if you go two minutes on a standard bag of microwave popcorn say your favorite variety of a boy scout popping bag you know they've kind of getting smaller and as the time goes on but you know it's a small bag of microwave popping corn you know rumor has it it's it's grown and packaged and all that here in middle indiana and we won't name any names just because we're not going to name any names but the point being that same company that does this packaging packages them for different brands and the bag size is pretty much the same and the cooking times are pretty much the same so if it says two minutes we have discovered that for a good bag of microwave popcorn one minute and 40 one minute and 45 seconds is plenty if you go ahead and go to two minutes it starts to get a little bit scorched it starts to taste like it's burnt so that's not good eat so for that reason it's good to be able to set minutes, set seconds, and kind of play around with it. And while we're on that, if you open a, a package of uh, something out of the freezer and it says, you know, for oven, do this, for microwave oven, do that, normally it'll give you a, a span of time, eight minutes, 10 minutes, something like this for a particular product, just depends on what it is. You know, whether you're trying to thaw out some fruit or, you know, some kind of microwave dish. Go to the small side, go to the light side. Do be, take less time instead of more time. You'll, you'll, thank, you'll thank yourself for doing this. And uh, if it's one of those where you need to uh, cook it for two minutes and then take it out and turn it or whatever, we have found that it's just as simple and it's just easy to set the cooking level at whatever level it's supposed to be set at. And we'll go through that here in a minute. But instead of starting and stopping, starting and stopping, you know, the timer, just set it for two minutes, start it up, let it run. When the alarm goes off telling you that two minutes is up, take it out, stir it, turn it, whatever you need to do, turn it over, put it back in, and then reset the cook time and go at it that way. That, that works better for us. That works better for me. So just food for thought. So once you have this, let's see what the time is at here. Cook time, 25 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, so to reset that, to clear all that out, you just hold the button until it says set cook time. Cook time, 25 minutes, 15 seconds. Set cook time, minutes. So that's all there is to clearing the cook time to zero. So. If you go too far, you can always just do that and then reset it again so that, you know, you're not over cooking your food. Now to set the um, cook time and start the microwave, we'll just do that real quick just to show you how simple that is. 
I'm going to push and hold the button. Clock time not set set clock time minutes. Set clock time seconds. One second. So now it's set for one second. If I hit this button and just hit it and let go of it, you know, the top left hand button is going to tell me that. Clock time zero minutes one second. If I go down one button, one, two, that'd be the first button on the second row and push that. Power level high, zero minutes, one second, microwave running. And that's all there is to setting the time and then starting and running the microwave. Now if you want to or need to set the power level to low, medium, or high, we've got to open the door so it'll stop. It's simple. We just go down one, two, three. Power level high. Set power level. It's saying set power level. Again, everything that we set, we go to the top right hand button. Medium. Low. Defrost. We want it for defrost. We just leave it at defrost. We go back down here. One, two, three. Power level. Defrost. So now the power level is set at defrost. Cook time not set set cook time minutes. So it's asking to set the second, you know, the the time. One minute. So we set the minute. We set it at one minute, as you heard, and then we're going to go down two buttons. One, two. First row on the second row. Power level defrost. One minute zero seconds. Microwave running. Well, that's all there is to that. And if you want to check the time. Zero. So I'll tell you that there's 55 seconds remaining on that defrost cycle. So we just open the door so it will stop. We're going to reset it. Cook time, zero minutes, 15 seconds set. Cook time, minutes, cook time, not set. Power level, defrost. So it's power level set at defrost. We want to change that back to high. We got have to hold it until it says set cook level. Once it tells us to set the power level, high. we can set it to high, then go back over top one, two, third button down. Power level high. Now we know the power level set it high. Cook time not set. That's all there is to adjusting the settings from high, low, medium, defrost, and setting the appropriate cook time. So that you can pop popcorn, you can reheat leftovers, we can uh, thaw out frozen foods, and just remember when you read the package and it tells you, you know, defrost on medium or unthaw on medium for X amount of time, just choose the lowest time, see how that goes, and then you can adjust from there if you need to add some more time, you can add some more time, but it's it's easier to cook food than it is to uncook food, if that makes sense. So, hope this has been helpful. And as always, if you have comments to share, please use the comment section down below. And I would invite you to check out the uh, description. In the description, I'll be sure and post a link to this uh, Magic Chef Talking Microwave on Amazon. So you can go and you can check it out and see if that's something that you would like to add to your list of helpful kitchen appliances. One word of caution, there are several reviews on Amazon that don't speak too highly of this talking microwave. And I think a lot of that is just due to operator error and the tendency of many people not to want to learn how to do things different than what they're accustomed to. And, and by that, I mean, you know, a lot of people, especially folks that come from the sighted world that become you know, visually impaired due to illness, age, injury, whatnot. They, they get frustrated with having to learn everything all over again. Well, in the uh, world of impaired vision, that's one of the first things we have to come to terms with is being willing to learn how to do things differently that make it possible for us to overcome our low vision challenges. And this talking microwave will do that if you just listen to what it asks you to do, 
and do what it tells you to do, you will enjoy Good Eats for many years to come. I know we have had this one for, oh, uh, probably close to 10 years, and it works. It gets the job done. That's all you can ask of. Thank you ever so much for sticking around and watching our tutorial on how to set up and use the Magic Chef Talking Microwave Oven. It is part of the Visually Impaired Persons Cook series that we're going to do here. So if you like it, make sure that you do give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate that. Also, subscribe. And for all those that have subscribed, make sure that you hit the notification bell. And when the little box pops up, make sure you click all. That way you'll be made aware of and kept up to speed with all the videos that we do post in this series and others that are all designed to help folks overcome low vision challenges. So thank you very much. Oh, and before we get away from here, make sure you check out the description box down below. I did, as promised, post some links to the uh, talking microwave oven and some other useful gadgets that uh, you'll find useful. So, uh, hey, thanks again. Take care of yourself. Be safe.